Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. <gasps> Wait, I don't have any earrings on. Hold on. I'm so crazy. Some things I just can't go forward without. And one of those things are earrings. Oh, all right. Back in business. I know hair is down. It's a miracle. I would like to do an updated wash and go routine. I am so sorry for the lack of hair videos. I think when I found my groove, the favorite products I love to use, I just didn't bother trying anything else. There is one product that I do want to try, and when I order it, I will be sure to get on here, review it, demo it, and talk about it. And I also, again, want to do an updated wash and go routine. I'm just finalizing the holy grail cocktail. You know what I mean? <laughs> Welcome to Mothership two the sublime this is a three look series i kicked off with mother pat because i figured why not go back to the palettes we've already have and maybe you use other palettes but you don't use pat mcgrath's palettes because they're overwhelming it's too much da 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 i only use one color what am i gonna do this is just to stir up some inspiration maybe use colors that you didn't think possible on your skin tone use them in different ways as a wing liner as a lower lash line color as an inner corner pop of color whatever today's featured palette is number two i have have already subversive number three subliminal one and bronze seduction number five already up on my channel they will be on a playlist i'll make sure to put them on there if they're not already and i'll have that link up above and down below and i think i want to knock out decadence today too so stay tuned for that you know depending on how my eyelids can survive and take it we, we can make it happen we shall see and i also wanted to mention before we started that i am on my friend elijah franklin's black girl fit files podcast i talk about my journey as becoming flexible as an adult how i started with dancing as a child but that didn't necessarily equate to being flexible at that young age what i went through and the process that i undertook and the process i'm still undergoing now i love contortion if you haven't visited me on instagram i pretend that i'm a circus artist i am 34 and i'm not performing but it's just a form of fitness for my body and my mind that marries concentration strength grace and beauty all in one and it has just changed my life not only my body my perspective and a lot of things and learning how to practice patience and knowing that not everything comes when you want it to but when you work for it is always on the way be sure to check that out i will post the link down below as well it's 45 minutes long something you can listen to i don't know in your car on the way to work if you're in new york if you're walking somewhere on the train and with all those announcements out of the way if you want to see three looks using sublime then please keep on watching hey friends if it's your first time here my name is alicia and welcome to kinky sweats kinky hair sweat life a platform where i share all things movement and beauty all my movement material will be found on instagram i'm also a is professional here at NYC. I teach classes, private clients. I also specialize in adult flexibility, teach bar conditioning, body weight training, all those fun things. If you're ever around, come by. Website will be down below with all my classes and times as well as locations. I love makeup, especially Mama Pat. Can I just say my students are the best? I know I'm, di I'm digressing again, forgive me. One of my students, she works for Chanel. <gasps> I know. And she got me this little bag. But look what's in the bag, though. She got me a nail polish. She said this is her favorite red. I have it on my nails today. It's 08 Pirates. Or if that's pronounced in a French way, I'm sorry that I just pushed her that and she also gave me the 262 Tisse Beverly Hills is a four pan eyeshadow palette. I think it's so pretty. She is so kind thinking because I'm always showing up to class with the eye look, you know what I'm saying? And she figured she gave me a very impactful, colorful eyeshadow palette. So thank you again. I just had to show you. This is the cutest bag in the universe. I'm not even gonna use it. I'm keeping everything like it is and I'm just putting it on my shelf. It's decoration, okay? That's it. All right, Sublime. I think Sublime at the time, rhyming, was the first to sell out at the initial release of the Mothership palettes. This is the color story that we're dealing with and I think initially when people saw this color story as opposed to the ones found in Subversive and Subliminal, they thought this would be the most daily friendly in terms of looks. I actually agree. I think this is more daily friendly than Bronze Seduction despite how many warm shades are found in Mothership 5 because I think a lot of the textures in Bronze Seduction are quite 
quite glittery and people were getting very frustrated in terms of dealing with them and feeling that the particles will always fall in their face there's a lot more of that smoother metallic formula found in sublime and because of that you're able to just use that metallic shade effortlessly without fear of fallout anything falling on your face and also are able to smooth these shades out without the use of a matte and I think that's why I found this to be a lot easier to use for daily friendly looks but we're gonna do like we have been a beginner look using primarily one shadow on the lid an intermediate look where we delving into maybe more of the mattes and combining them with the metallic shade and then we're gonna go in with blitz emerald and i want to recreate the look i did i never uploaded the video because it was giving me the worst time with audio so i just scrapped it i wanted to do a follow along with sandra deluxe's video where she went uh, I think it was to Italy with Pat McGrath. They went on an influencer trip and they went backstage and you talked about her experience and I was so jealous. But I love Sandra Deluxe. I mean, she is probably one of my most favorite people to watch on YouTube because the way she is just chill and how she applies makeup nonchalantly and just like slaps it on with her fingers and it always comes out immaculately beautiful i don't understand she used the blitz emerald but primarily used it all over her eye but shaped it like the way pat did it on the runway for that show i think it was the versace show if i'm can remember correctly so we're gonna do that just you know spice it up a little bit as you know if you want to see an exclusive sublime video where i swatch the shadows individually and do a look i think i use blitz emerald on that video and another video i use not only the big mothership sublime but the bronze ambition the mini sublime then take a look at that video down below in the playlist and with all that said We are definitely clipping this air back, okay? I think I want to go in with Iconic as my main lid color because, again, she has... What is this called? Rose Dusk and Copper Tone are such beautiful formulas that you can basically any three of these metallics you could apply on the lid and call it a day but i think iconic is calling my name so sonia g worker two with iconic i did not set the lid because i want the ultimate stick so i'm going to start applying that on the lid so smooth and easy to blend it's so great that you can rely on just one shade to make that happen bringing it slightly up the crease i'm terribly sorry that i look so cool tone today it's gray outside but i much prefer this lighting situation because when it's sunny in and out the light changes so drastically quickly it's hard to keep up i'm taking my way number three not with more eyeshadow just what's already on the lid and i'm carefully now further blending the edges so we could create that nice soft grading effect i like to pull my eyeshadow out a tiny bit into that v-point you can certainly keep it more in you can make it rounder depending on what your eye shape calls for that's what you'll do if you wanted more color you just take a little more of iconic with your fluffy brush and just go in on the crease we can bring the same color to the lower lash line or we can try one of the other shades so because i want to keep it beginner i'm going to stick with iconic i'm not going to get ahead of myself just so you can see the simplicity of the shadow and how you could create a really beautiful soft smoky i would still consider this a soft smoky look because of the bronzy tone of the shadow connecting the lower lash line application to the lid and i'm further just helping that shape to appear a little more seamless we could go in with skin show glow to finish off the inner corner but i kind of want to go in with copper tone as my inner corner highlight just so that we have an opportunity to use another shadow. I'm using my Hakuhodo J242 with copper tone to the inner part of the lid. So you know what? Not actually the inner corner. We might have an opportunity to still use Skin Show Glow. Just to the inner portion of my lid, melting copper tone in with iconic so we can create like a nice soft gradient of color why not i would still consider this a beginner eye because you're not 
required to do crazy blending you basically take a shader brush that you own on the small side or whatever size that you have and pat it down to the inner portion of the lid not necessarily going onto the lid so you see that's where the eyeball rests under just right before you meet that arc and you press the shadow down to create that grading effect taking the same shader brush but now with the tip of it same concept that we just practiced on the lid now on the lower lash line keeping the copper tone shadow on the inner third of the eye not the center but right before you hit it just so we can liven up the color story a little bit same shader brush now with skin show glow this skin show glow shade is pinkier in tone which i think is a nice switch it's hard to see on camera on camera it looks a lot uh more subdued but in person it has a peachier pinky tone and especially so because we're applying it next to and on copper tone if you want to see that wet we're gonna spritz the skin show glow shade and there it is it offers a little more brightness a little more shine you could also do that to any of the metallics we just applied taking extreme black with my nameless mac small angled brush and just to the base of the lash line not all the way i'm keeping it to the outer third i'm looking down so i can see the lash line and know where i'm placing the shadow same thing but to the outer third of the lower lash line i'm just using the brush to finesse the extreme black in with iconic and if all else fails just use your finger to smudge the black shadow a little bit more so now we create a little bit of a smoky effect not necessarily applying the black all over the lid and the outer v but primarily to the base of the lashes so it does create a little bit of smoke but i feel it still keeps it daily friendly let's apply some mascara do the other eye and i'll be right back back with look number two very soft simple all metallic eye see how soft these shadows are i mean i don't think they look overly smoky at all for the day and it's a nice choice to take if you want a little bit of smoke but you don't want to take it there you still want it to be office friendly if you work in that environment you know what i'm saying and i also added skin show glow on the brow bone i absolutely love that color as a brow bone highlight is slightly pinky in tone and just add something else to the look and of course for real for the lip what do you think friends how does this look do you consider this still simple is it still daily friendly despite the iconic shade being a little on the bronzy side i love this as an all over eye shade it's simply gorgeous and with the copper tone on the inner portion of the lid oh i forgot to mention these are my blinking beauties in number four i think they're a little too much for this look i wanted to give them a shot because these are one of my favorites i much prefer lily lashes i just think the band is more comfortable to use and just feels better on my lid but i think this is pretty successful as our single shade look so let me know what you think down below and we'll move on to look number two look number two i will powder down my p louise baits with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in number two because this matte we're about to apply has some punch man and just to provide a little bit of glide for the blending i feel this step is important to take hello you're gonna focus on me wayne goss number three with dark and this is dark if you feel you need another mat to help blend out this mat then take your bronzer or just another lighter transition shade from another eyeshadow palette because you will see in a minute very lightly first i'm barely grazing the skin with my brush and then when i deposited some of the shadow i'll apply a little more pressure look how dark that is despite the pan looking brown you see what i'm saying and i realized that i forgot to apply mascara on my last look I'm so dumb. On my lower lashes to say. Why do I look so naked? It's because you forgot the scare on the lower lash line, Alethea. Man, that is smoky. Smoky okay. Looking down so I see what's happening here, especially on the inner portion of my lid. Smooth out that crease blend. I think I'm gonna go in with bronze 005 as my main lid color, and then I'll go in with rose dusk. For the lower lash line because you see how much smoke we got i mean that's just one shade this this matte packs a lot of punch i actually wouldn't use this 
as my main transition shade i would go in with a lighter color from a different palette but since we're trying to stick with just pat i'm gonna do something super illegal i am very sorry i have my mod palette from color pop and it has this shade here i'm using a tiny bit of that just to help blend this out i'm sorry forgive me i just need a, a just a little bit it's a little better to get a little more stick using my mac 248 with some leftover p louise center of the lid as i like to do i'll pat it down first use the edge of the brush to carefully not super precise just carving somewhat the lid out or i should say near the crease and i will use my finger to pat down and feather the edges of the P. Louise base. Hakuhodo 242 with bronze 005. Let's see what we'll get dry. I'm gonna pat that down on the lid where we apply the primer. Not too bad, man. I feel like I'm so dark. What is happening? I'm gonna spritz it because I think I need a little more stick. There we go, it's a lot better. Going in with my Smith 253 with the dark matte and I'm placing that on the inner portion of my lid. I am turning this more into a halo eye because I want the dark matte to bracket the bronze 005 a little better so it could look distinctly halo i'm taking the same brush because i love how this is angled and i'm pulling it across the crease to kind of shave down some of the bronze shade away from the crease i don't want it to look super sparkly there so i'm brushing away some of that color i'm taking my hakuhodo j5529 which has quickly been a favorite for very detailed crease work pulling that across with a little bit of the dark shade just so we could clean up that transition using my hakuhodo b142 with the same matte shade i'm applying a little more to the outer v and shaping it because you saw there was like a little bit of a gap there i'm just filling up those spaces and i'm using the tip of this brush which i think is perfect for this purpose to further shape the outer v closing my eyes so i see what's happening which is so ironic <laughs> all right much better now with my hakuhodo j5523 in with rose dusk pulling that along the lower lash line such a pretty shade it's rosy but it's still soft it's not too pink not too red i love i want to make this really smoky so i'm pulling this down pretty far combining it with the dark matte shade on top going back with my hakuhodo b142 because now since i see where rose dusk is going i have a better idea of how to further shape the top wiping off my way number three and just still feathering out the edges here. Definitely wanna use VR Nectar on the inner corner. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my P. Louise base. Same Hakuhodo J142. Ooh, that's bright. This is probably my second favorite transformative shades out of all the ones in the Mothership palettes. All right, friends, let's apply mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of the eyes. I went back to my Lily Lashes in Diamond because I just feel they look best. I also applied Skin Show Glow on the brow bone. And I just wanted to quickly show you, this is Bronze 005 on its own, right? If we take the Astral Orchid shade, just a little bit, and press it onto the bronze, look how that kind of shifts it into a pink so pretty it gives it like a pink dual chrome type of shift so different nice way to change it up if you don't want it to just look exclusively bronze and you want a little zhuzh, 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 then that's what you do if you wanted to take it on your pinky and pull it along the rose dusk shade then you got a little bit of that going on you could also press this onto the cheekbone to add a little extra pizzazz to your highlight I still have full reel on, but I'm going to apply pale fire nectar because I thought, you know, because of the virtual reality nectar shade we got going on the inner corner, I thought it would be very fitting to put something similar on these lips. So this is our intermediate look using the dark matte shade as our transition smoky shade and then primarily relying on bronze 005 to bring up the lid. I love rose dusk under the eye. I think it's a great way to create smoke with another color. And of course, VR nectar on the inner corner just pizzazzed it up so beautifully with like that reflectivity and the gold pinky shift going on <sighs> and with that said let's get into the advanced look using blitz emerald for look number three 
look number three this is inspired by the versace show pat did i think last year sometime and of course Sandra deluxe's video i will post that video down below so you can see the original primarily using blitz emerald all over the lid and creating like that really graphic wing i don't know how i'm gonna do this i did it once i think i could do it again we shall see. Definitely did not set the P. Louise base because I want high color impact. Taking my Zoeva 234 with Blitz Emerald. I'm gonna start applying this to the lid, man. I mean, if this isn't green enough for you, I don't know what more you want. I'm patting it in the crease area because after we get the majority of the color on, that's when we will clean up the edges. <laughs> I'm slowly starting to wing it out now, but I'm still relying on the tip of the brush to round it out. But again, we'll go back in with the base, either the P. Louise or concealer to clean the edges. Taking the same brush, but now on the lower lash line, connecting that. I'm just using the edge of the brush. I haven't switched brushes. I'm using the shape of it to just carve out the shape. If you want to see it wet, let's take a little more of the Blitz Emerald, hit it with some Max Fix Plus and it will definitely add extra shine and pigmentation for sure. Using patty motion to the areas that need a little more coverage because when you pat that's where you place down the most color as opposed to swiping it down. All right I think while I'm looking head-on I could probably use a little more here i could always clean that up now what sandra did she also took the same brush she was using but now with extreme black and she added it to the outer v to add a little bit of depth and intensity i'm taking my primer again with my mac 248 and then we'll use that brush to clean the edges and also to clean the wing a little bit just using the edge of the brush <laughs> I'm turning it on its side so it could just graze over the edge and also underneath could probably shave this down a little more there we go not too bad eh I want to clean this up a little bit I'm going to take some off I'm just using the Mac brush to get it a little more tapered I could also go in with my Hakuhodo J5529 and just rely on the size of the brush to smooth the inner portion of the eye out I forgot what Sandra put on her inner corner but I think I want to go in with copper tone as the inner corner highlight because I think it'll be really fun as something different to to use on the inner corner to provide that highlight. Using my Hakuhodo J142, placing that on the inner corner. Isn't that pretty? Using the tip of the brush to slowly pull in the shade into our Blitz Emerald. If we wanted to bump it up, we could take the actual shade or we can take VR Nectar and place it on top. I mean, so good you could also make it so that the skin show glow shade would be your inner corner highlight but since we have the shade at our disposal we might as well use it i'm going back with the hakuhodo brush the j242 and i'm just finessing the edges because i want the copper tone shade and the blitz emerald shade to look a little more blended taking skin show glow on the brow bone all right friends so let's do the other eye apply lashes and i'll be right back Look number three complete. What do you think, friends? This is definitely a lot more avant-garde than your usual daily smoky eye. But it kind of works as something you could wear out because even though it's very graphic in terms of how it comes out to this precise point, I think it's very evening friendly, event friendly, especially if you use one of these colors. Blitz Emerald is gorgeous. If you tried this with Blitz Flame... <sighs> I can't even think about it without crying. And I love VR Nectar on the inner corner. I realized when I was doing the other eye that Sandra used Divine Show Glow from Bronze Seduction Mothership 5 on the inner corner. I think because she just wanted to use both palettes and that one was newly released at the time. But VR Nectar on the inner corner with Blitz Emerald is outstanding. It just adds really nice peachy pop to the green. It changes it up and it just looks extra shiny and gorgeous. And on top of Copper Tone, it brings out that more peachy hue from the shade. For the lip, I took the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Anywhere Cafe number 600 and topped it off with Dare to Bear from the Mini Trio. 
I love this. I think it's so fun. I say it's advanced because of the way you have to shape the eyeshadow. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you could just make this into a smoky eye, apply it blitz emerald all over the lid, maybe use the dark matte or even just a fluffy brush with blitz emerald and buff it into your crease and make it more diffused. I just wanted to recreate this again on camera because I loved it when I did it the first time and I was so bummed that I didn't get to show you how. So great that I have an opportunity now with a three look video to share how I created this graphic blitz emerald eye. And that's it friends i think we use mostly all the shades again i do believe this is the most daily friendly look out of all the main three mothership palettes simply because it has more of the metallic formula that you can simply finesse onto your lid into the crease and just create a really nice soft one color eye with at least three of the shades here bronze 005 packs a lot of punch i would recommend that you go in with this wet right away because when it's dry the particles flutter about and you might lose control they might end up on your crease or they might end up on your face and just to avoid that from happening i suggest that you apply this wet first with a small shade of brush skin show glow has a nice pinky toe to it i know it's hard to see if i maybe tilt it this way you can see the tone really nice break from your typical champagne nude type of finish for the inner corner and brow bone vr nectar is an outstanding shift like one way it looks gold then green then peach it's beautiful blitz emerald is a dream to work with this was so easy easy to apply on my lid and to shape it forget it I just used one brush to apply the color and then I went in with the other of course to further shape it out with my P Louise primer but I mean easy shade this is an incredible shade incredible formula my favorite matte out of the main three before bronze seduction entered the picture was definitely the matte from subversive it has a little more warmth to it this one almost applies like a gray brown when you buff it into the crease it gets smoky very fast if you're not sure you can handle that type of intensity initially then now we'll go in with another transition shade from another palette or use your bronze powder that you are at the time on your complexion just to finesse the color a little bit and it'll actually provide a little more glide because since you already have powder from that eyeshadow that you would like to apply initially before the dark matte shade then the dark matte shade will have a better chance of looking diffused and not splotchy let me know what your thoughts us are down below friends with these three looks using sublime and of course let me know what your favorite shades are from this palette and we'll move on to the next the last big palette we have to do is decadent it's not currently available i have no idea when it is i mean i wish i was tight with mother pat i sound like i am but i'm really just damn in my head who knows if she'll re-release it again but if you have it you'll dive in and we'll create different looks if you don't have it maybe you could use other palettes that are similar in color story and texture to create something else else and we'll take it from there and that my friends is a wrap thank you all so much for watching i hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until then i'll see you on here again with another video tutorial chit chat or review or three look video take care and i'll see you again soon